Hey everyone, this is Steve with Collider, and we are here back at our South by Southwest studio with the good folks behind Neodome. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. How are you doing? South by Southwest. Yeah, it's, um, yeah. Listen, I, I have so many things to say, but um, no one watching this, or maybe two people, will have seen it. So, how have you been describing Neodome to friends and family? Absolutely. Uh, Neodome is a neo noir western. It is a, um, story of a woman who is on the road to a promised utopia on the horizon and she hitchhikes a ride with uh, two nefarious dudes and things go very badly. One of the things that I, when I was watching it that I realized, like it, it occurred to me that how much VFX in the last few years have allowed people to add, like your short, in a lot of shots has a VFX in it. And it's now something that like almost anyone can do. Um, do you know what I mean? Like how the, the VFX revolution has, has changed what you can do in a short film with not a crazy amount of money. Yes. Um, I would say it, and it's, opened up a world of possibilities. In our film, uh, we had scripted a sort of inciting moment that really catalyzes um, Mike, Gary's character with Anna's character. And we ended up in post and we were like, it didn't work out the way we wanted. And then Anna um, and um, Matt and Mark Pfeffer uh, uh, had this amazing idea that we could insert uh, fireworks and it was all VFX and it wasn't scripted and it ended up being this brilliant change in the script that really lands uh, a final moment for us. And that was all because we had access to, you know, doing the VFX. One of the other things is, and I, I think everyone thinks, oh, a short film, like it's not that hard. It's gonna be six to 12 minutes, whatever, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Like, but I, but people don't realize that you need to establish characters in a minimal amount of time and you have such little screen time to tell your story that I would argue it's even harder than anything a short making a great short film don't make a short film <laughs> <laughs> so what is it like for both for you as a director to try to you know establish these as much as you can three-dimensional characters in such a short period of time and as actors knowing that like you have such limited screen time to make the audience either care or hate you in a, a short y yeah why, why are you looking at me like that oh thanks <laughs> um no, I think the Pfeffers did a great. I mean, the minute you we op I opened the script, I was like, I was there's there, his name's Gary and Larry, so that's a little bit of a wink, you know. What I mean, you know, it's it's the blood is real, but there's also it's fun, and you can kind of like these people. And the they, the script just immediately, I kind of like the by page two, I was like, oh, I kind of have a pitch for these two guys, you know what I mean? I kind of I don't know if that makes any sense. They, they, it it is it is a lot to kind of pack into fifteen minutes, but the script did it, you know, it just kind of worked that way. No, I think in, for us as actors, it's just... We get to show up and play and do the work, and it's a lot of, you know, we, we have these really great characters, and we're all kind of friends, so we just got to play around in the desert. So it really, what it comes down to, we show up, we do our thing, and we hope, hey, they can edit it together and make something nice, but uh, it really comes down to Bonnie and Mark and Matt and Michael and the team to uh, to make this thing really do something, and I've, I've been so impressed with what they were able to do in just three days of filming, because you, you never know what short and uh, this one's really cool what was it like you know for you um <clears throat> well i'd say two things one uh m making a short well is incredibly difficult i think it's like a poem uh, i'm not kidding when i say don't do it it takes the same amount of time energy effort make a feature um, because it is harder to do a short fantastically well. I'm so proud of this one because I've been telling the team that the actors brought, I, I, I think I, I said this quote unquote to, to Mike last night, 175%. It is really difficult to tell a complete story, a complete narrative, have uh, three characters that have emotional arcs and journeys and fast turns. And this whole film depends on them being moment to moment, so precise, and they did it. So. That was great. But then every single person on the team brought their whole like best A game. So we ended up with this polished gem. But I think it's a real miracle to do that in a short film because it is it is 
every word, every moment has so much weight to it. Whereas with a feature or a novel, you can sort of earn, you know, maybe a mistake or a, a lag. But with a short 10 seconds is such a big percentage of your film and, and the whole team, uh, the Pfeffers, Michael Johnson, our composer, the, the, um, the color grading, the actors, it was all, you know, everybody showed up. Uh, if you could only watch one TV show for the rest of your life, what TV show would you watch and why? Family Feud. <laughs> <laughs> Did not expect Family that. Feud. <laughs> I could watch that forever. Good. Just 24-7, Family Feud. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not quite the artist Mike, Michael Mosley <laughs> is. Um, I got to say Curb Your Enthusiasm. That's just, uh, if I got to watch forever, I'm going to, I'll probably be just riddled with angst. And we'll wind up miserable, but I'll be giggling along the way. So, you know, you can't go wrong with Larry. And Larry's amazing. Yeah. X-Files. I have a problem. It is a deep problem. And uh, Ryan Coogler, if you're watching this, I am available for the reboot. <laughs> I am a huge fan of the X-Files minus the last season or two. Um, I, you know, uh, but those early seasons were fantastic. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect lights television. off. Yeah. Lights <laughs> off in the room. Uh, you know, just wondering what's going to happen. Anyway, it was anyway, but yeah, we're on the same page. What would be your favorite show that you'd watch forever? Uh, thank you for asking. Uh, it's a great question. Everyone always says, you know what I mean? Like I, I, I'm, I'm fucking with you. Uh, I actually don't know. Um, I hadn't, no one has had flipped the question on me Ooh. yet. Um, I really, I need, I need more time to think about <laughs> it. I'm in the hot seat. You know? Yeah, no, but it's <laughs> just really a curveball. Uh, I don't want to hear We're excuses. Asking everyone. You, right. <laughs> I'll tell you my criteria because I said it to other people who were debating it is I think if it was for the rest of my life, I, I think if I could I if could would I be allowed to say Star Trek and then get all the Star Trek shows Ooh, and, great, or yeah. or you look at a show that's been on for like 25 years. Like and that has a ton family of episodes, feud. like a, like <laughs> like, family like the Family Feud, <laughs> or or like Family Guy or you know oh, yeah. South Park or you know something that has a lot of episodes. Yeah. Like Family Feud, you know what I mean. So when you, jumping into getting going back into why I get to talk to you guys, no, we we're here to talk about Family Feud. Yeah, you know, what's funny though is I I love I love talk like throwing that random like you know curve into an interview because like you really don't know the answers you're going to get. No one is prepared. No one has thought about it, and it leads to this back and forth that like you you know what I mean. Like you really don't know. Um, so when you you had obviously three days to make this, what was the thing that you were for all of you that you were most most nervous about when you saw the shooting schedule and what you had to accomplish that you're like, how the F are we going to get this done? I mean, I can go first, I guess, but uh, for me, there's no pressure. I mean, I just get to show up and play this crazy character. I mean, I think the thing where I'm concerned about, especially with a role like Larry, I had some pretty crazy ideas and bless this whole team for letting me run with it. You know, I read this line and I thought this guy has a, a silver tooth and he may be, you know, uh, really his IQ may be on the lower end of the scale scale and uh and i took him to a very strange uh place and it was sort of like hey bonnie has have i just gone full gonzo are we still in the world and i think it kind of helped build the world more but it's definitely i was you know i like to take characters to really weird spots and i definitely took this one there and i'm just really glad it worked because the whole time I'm, I'm sitting here and i'm watching my really real pro he's really good and is amazing and and then i'm like and then there's this clown i don't know what he's doing but <laughs> But, uh, so yeah, that's great. it for me. Thank you, Bonnie. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah, we just, they tell us where to stand and what to say and what, what pants to wear on the day. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was pretty, it was easy for us. I, you know, and they tell us when to break for lunch. So it, yeah, it wasn't that it wasn't. Yeah. It, I, I don't know. It, it all felt really well taken care of. I mean, the producers and you know, they have to sweat and worry about why the car is broken down or what's, you know, or how to, Shh, how to the broken down car. Or whatever, you know what I mean? There's like, that's like, you know, but they just, you know, we just kind of waddle in and waddle out. It was great. It was, it was super fun, you know, and you know, we're playing with guns. It's like, it's a little kid stuff. It's like, if you, you know, you get to kind of play. Sure. But as a director, I think the answer is a little different. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, the Pfeffers, Matt and Mark Pfeffer and Michael Johnson and Anna and I had a, a lot of conversations where I was like, this is impossible. We cannot make this, um, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, we had a 24 page script. We had, uh, you know, people driving the entire movie. So we have a road movie, uh, VFX, guns, stunts, uh, 
five page scenes of acting uh, and three days to shoot. And, uh, and so we, we had these meetings where I was like, listen, we cannot make this movie in three days and we only have three days to do it. So we, we strategized and I, I asked if the actors could come in early and we did rehearsals on stage beforehand. We brought in the stunt people, the actors ran through the lines, we rehearsed it. So by the time we got to set, we were just like, we don't have to think about what we're gonna do. We're just setting up the cameras and going. And then we boogied. <laughs> this is a good quote that I heard from Lauren Michaels and I think it applies itself to a lot of maybe independent film and art, but he said something like, um, we don't go on because we're ready, we go on because it's 11.30. Sure. And yeah. I think that's kind of that's kind of the essence of independent film. You know what I mean? You don't go because you're, you, you can always plan, 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 but at some point you gotta go. And that's kind of, I think, kind of the beauty of the art. Yeah, I do think though that the rehearsals were key on something like this because, you know, like uh, anytime you have such limited time like that, anything you can do to alleviate the pressure on set yeah. is, you know. Well, also great actors. We're absolutely great actors. We 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 had this moment where. Well, it looked like we were maybe not going to be able to shoot and we had to pivot and move the car and shoot in a different location. And I set up, you know, the, the first scene, the first uh, shot of the day with uh, Mike and, and Nick and Anna. And I set up the camera and we, we did it. We were on Larry and Gary and uh, we did it. And I was like, OK, we got it. And Mike turned to me and he was like, oh, it's a one take. Yeah. That's what we're that's what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> and we were yeah. like, oh, it's that yeah. kind of movie. One take. OK, let's go. <laughs> It was great. I was like, no, you nailed it. So uh, moving Bonnie on. Bonnie had seen Larry for the first day on the first shot. She would have had a heart attack. So thank God we had rehearsal. She would have gone, what is happening? He's ruining my movie. I mean, I was thinking that the whole time. Oh, I know. I'm still thinking. We actually, we brought you here, Nick, to have a conversation. Yeah, you know you're not in the movie anymore, right? You haven't seen it yet, right? Thanks for having me, Collider. <laughs> hey, Mom! <laughs> what is it like, though? You never know when you're making something how it's going to turn out, and I really do think you guys did a great job with this. Um, so what does it mean to you to be premiering at South By? Because you really don't know what's going to, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, it's it's lovely. It's, you know, we were just out running around, rolling around in the dust, you know, for three days, and now we're sitting here with you good people. It's, it's been a really lovely experience you know it's great that the film has been appreciated like that there go. no i mean i it's awesome this was this was friends calling up friends saying hey you want to make a fun movie reading a script being like this is cool what's this okay and now it's going these guys have worked their butts off to get it where it's at and you know i'm just happy i get to work with all my friends from back in the day it's been a real treat Oh, I, I would just say um, being here with the team from Neodome, uh, all the actors, the producers, uh, it is the most special thing that I've done as a filmmaker yet. Uh, I made my first like little independent movie with Robert Rodriguez in 2017 here and to come back with friends that we've known for our whole lives and share something that's being so well, well received. Um, Anna and I were just crying last night. It's so meaningful. Like South by was the dream. I can uh, I can understand what it's like. Or I, I would imagine it's playing very well because the thing about it is it does feel like the short feels like it's a, a scene from like a bigger thing. Like a TV show. An HBO show. Wait, <laughs> no, but it, it sounds like it's just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, yeah. like is it a puzzle box that you want to see for seven series <laughs> years? Seven Netflix? seasons in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Merchandise, uh, toys, and little Larry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Larry! Oh, Larry, Larry and 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 oh, what a great Christmas <laughs> gift! That's, That's a idea. stocking stuffer. <laughs> <laughs> Get one for the kids. <laughs> uh, the thing about it is that. Uh, that that's my like my compliment to you is that it does feel like it's from a bigger world and a bigger thing and you're just seeing like that slice Thank you. you know like it's you know what I mean yeah so um, I will listen uh, I'm gonna stop here and just say that um, I really want to say congrats I thought you guys did a great job with this and I really do know how hard it is to make a short film they're, they're fucking impossible so like um, you Don't guys do it. yeah no <laughs> you guys did a great job um, and I really wish you nothing but the best with all the rest of your speed dating and <laughs> South by Southwest. Um, you guys have a great day. Thank, Thank you so much. Thanks, you too.